10 of the most satisfying Roblox games. Game 1, Noob Train. What is this game and why is it satisfying? In this game, you can go and duplicate how many versions of yourself you want. Say I want 10 of me, I will have 10 of me right here. And your clones do whatever you do as well. Which means if I'm to go and make 100 of myself, that's right, there's literally now 100 of me going and following me in a little trail. You know what, let's make this even bigger. Let's hit 1000 and find out if the game can handle it. And if not, I guess it breaks. Somehow the game has not crashed yet when there is literally 1,000 of me kind of um just swarming me. I wonder if 10,000 works. Huh. Um, I guess there's no space for them. But if you've ever wondered what 10,000 looks like, then um, here you go, I guess. This one might not be satisfying, but believe me, number 10 is the most satisfying one. Yeah, this looks like something out of my nightmare. But when I jump, they all uh, start to jump as well. Oh dear. Well, you know what is satisfying? This. It just makes a fun little wave. Just a little wave and a wave and a wave. You see, this one looks satisfying but not as satisfying as the next game. Called Noob's Hijack, where in this game, you go and jump to different amounts of studs. That's right, you literally just jump. Is this satisfying? Honestly, I don't know. But apparently, lots of you guys find this game satisfying. So how many studs do you think I can go and get to? Place a prediction and we'll continue this one later. Game 3, Lag Tag 2020. I'm not sure I like the name of this game, but let's go and press play. And press start, and see if I make it onto the leaderboard of the most lag possible. Currently, everything looks pretty good, right? And now we've just got a bunch of things falling. That doesn't seem to do too much, my FPS is still high, there's just a bunch of blocks falling. The higher score you get, the better your computer is. And now we can see things are kind of starting to slow down. I don't know why, I mean, I'm still going at the normal speed. I guess this is still playable, but in the bottom left corner, you will see my FPS count, which means frames per second. And you might notice that my frames per second have definitely slowed down from 60. And they keep on slowing down. However, my computer has not crashed. We have an epic 5 FPS. Would you say this is a satisfying game? I'm not 100% sure. I mean, maybe it's satisfying to people who like to go and see their computers crash and overheat. That's right, there is a literal chance your computer could explode by playing this. We've managed to make our way all the way down to 1 FPS, which is the literal lowest FPS amount that you could ever go and get. And this is me trying to walk. That's right, every single second, we get one frame. This kind of looks like some old school animation. Definitely not satisfying to me, but let's submit our score. Ragdoll Engine. I think you've all heard of this one. This one even has over a hundred million plays. Do I know how it works? Uh, not really. I actually don't know how this game works, but I'm pretty sure you're literally just meant to yeet your avatar. That's right, I think I broke every bone possible, and that is the idea of this game. Then you reset your avatar. I think the literal idea behind this game is just to destroy yourself, which is definitely strange. Like falling down a set of stairs just like this and slowly crashing to the floor. This is satisfying to some people. I don't know why this is satisfying to some people, but it is. And now that they're, they're dancing on my head. Congratulations. Pressure Wash Simulator, bro. I gotta test this out. This one looks like it might actually be satisfying. I think we're gonna clean the stuff. Here is a dirty car. And here is my pressure washer. Oh, okay. 
You see, this kind of looks like it might be satisfying. The idea is to clean stuff. I wish cleaning and stuff in real life was this satisfying and easy, but cleaning a real car definitely is not as easy as what we are doing right now. This That would take hours. I'm actually looking at buying my own car. So if anyone has any ideas, uh, let me know. I ran out of water to clean this, so I think I literally need to go into the ocean. And now we can go back to cleaning stuff. That's right, who knew that cleaning things would be so satisfying? I mean, hey, you can even write a message. So I'm gonna write the word hi, which is kind of hard to see, but it's there. Clean away. I can see why people like this game. Like, if you like cleaning stuff, then it would make sense. At least you can see an end result rather than just yeeting yourself down a hill. Oh, I, I didn't clean the top of the car. Okay, okay. I see how it is. And uh, now I have no arm left. So I guess we should go into the next game because I literally physically can't clean anymore without an arm. Apparently, this is satisfying. A wall jump difficulty. I literally am terrible at wall jumps, but I think the idea is you literally just walk around and try and jump around it. So the idea is you literally just go and do this. Honestly, I'm not great at these types of things. And uh, how do we know it's getting harder? Well, the thickness of this wall gets harder. And that is literally the whole game, just going and jumping around like this. If you find this satisfying, then let me know. I find it frustrating. Like, this is annoying that I don't know how to go and complete this perfectly. I wonder how far I can actually go and get on this. This involves a lot of concentration, which I just don't think I have. Oh, I made it to 10. Can I make it to 11? Oh my way, how did I just do that? But can I make 12? I don't think so. Like, that looks impossible, right? And this thing goes on for a real long way. I don't know how people get that. Oh, I, I guess I see how people do better. But I don't think it's physically possible to get all the way to the end without spending your Robux. Cut right into someone. I don't know who they are, but let's give it a try. Apparently it's satisfying. I don't know why this is satisfying or how, but let's test this. Oh, wow. This just looks insane. Okay, we are all in the cart, and now we just need to press the forward button. I can definitely see this going wrong, considering we literally can't even get past the first stage, due to the fact that we have someone who is going and flying with a magical carpet. How great. And why are they giant? Did they, did they buy admin or something? I honestly do not know. Is, are they... What the... What in the world is going on? Who needs game passes when good old uh, Fido can just go and fly you to the end? Oh, I see it. We're going to end up in their mouth. You know what? I guess you can fly me into his mouth if you want. That will save a lot of time and a lot of uh, money because going and traveling up this apparently takes you a very long time. But thankfully, I can just skip that whole process through the power of flight. That's right. They're going to fly me there. Imagine if they troll me like they bring me all the way to the top and then just yeet me off. I wouldn't put it past half the people on this game. Low and steady wins the race. Should I sabotage them with Robux? Wait, they are legitimately taking me to the ending of this game. We're currently inside of the head and voila, we are at the end. That is it. We, we completed the game. And now I have all of this stuff, which I don't really know what I do with it. Oh, look at me. I can now just, like, walk where I want. Yay. So I guess if you want to kind of, like, cheat, uh, then that is what you gotta do. This is definitely interesting. I like my new superpower of just being able to, like, fall to my doom and then activating it. Or just kind of, uh, flying, kind, you know? Which is why I'm gonna use my brand new ability to, uh, kind of just ruin everyone else's day. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna make them all uh, never be able to go and play on a cart. Oh, how fun it must be to play this game. I have a feeling I am gonna get a lot of hate messages in this chat, 
So before we go and see them, uh, I think we should leave the game. This game is called Destruction Physics. And in it, I have a hammer and you can go and actually destroy stuff. You know, with physics, apparently. Let's go destroying things. You see, and just like that, we actually were able to go and destroy it. I don't know what this does, but I think we should try it. Honestly, I don't know what I'm witnessing, but I think I just made a giant hole into the floor. If you thought that explosion was good, just wait until we go and test out whatever this thing does. And, uh, let's, let's just try and use this. Honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but, uh, I think this might go and make an explosion. Honestly, I don't know. Oh, yeah, it definitely did. I wonder what happens if we, uh, to just place like a few at once and then you know just kind of explode all of them loading lol all right buddy explode okay so i guess it's not crazy it's more kind of just satisfying satisfying for the fact that you can kind of just see these bricks get destroyed and you can just have a bit of fun using actual physics because once you go and knock these things they actually like fall to the floor how real life physics would work. Broken bones, let's go, that sounds interesting. This is me, and I have a feeling that we are meant to break as many bones as possible by literally yeeting myself off of the map and gaining a high score by taking even more damage. The more damage I do, the better my score is. Congratulations, I just made $7,000 by breaking 18 bones. But you know what, I have a feeling that I can do better than that. Which is why I'm going to attempt it again, but this time we're gonna just kinda crash everywhere possible and keep trying to fall out. Well, that was terrible. But somehow I broke even more. Again, break every single thing possible. I don't know what I'm doing, but I am trying. Yeah, let's hit that rock, boom. Whack! Can I, like, break a few more under the water, please? Please? Let's go 10k! I don't think I've ever been excited to break a bone, to be honest, but I am today. I have a firework, whatever that means, and it says activate. Wish me luck, let me go and break everything physically possible in my bones. I don't know. Oh, that, that looked dangerous. That looked bad. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I just activated a firework. Oh! Oh no! Oh wow! Wow, this better make me rich. This better make me rich. <laughs> Let's go 45,000 bucks? Well, hey, I'm rich. I'm just gonna upgrade all of this and then just play this never again. And voila, we've upgraded it all and hope that this means we do well. I'm kind of just breaking bones already, and uh, I think my upgrades may have helped. Maybe. I don't know. It looks more beneficial. Good game. And the last game is called Domino Chain Reaction Effect. But before we play, let me show you my game from earlier that I didn't finish. Okay, I found someone's head to try and jump on, and I don't know how your mana go and get any higher. Honestly, to the people that get like 20 something stages, I don't know how. Bro, that dude just literally go ahead of me. How? How did he do that? How did you get higher, bro? Honestly, I don't know how he got that high. Oh my word, I don't know what I just did. I have like this shift lock thingy and I, I don't know how it works, but I did it. Honestly, I don't know how, but I just keep spamming and clicking the little shifty lock thingy, and it kind of works. But I'm literally spamming everything possible, and I am getting nowhere. I guess the highest I can get is this, but if you've been able to get higher, someone let me know how in the comments. Dominoes, this one better be worth it to be the number one spot. Will the game rightfully own its number one spot? Let's find out. This is a bunch of dominoes, so let's go and knock them over. Why is this satisfying? Well, dominoes are well known to be a very satisfying thing. These things just fall over and you get to go and chase them around and watch them satisfyingly fall over. 
And that is about it. I used to play with dominoes for hours. I would build the most insane courses. I would have bridges, I would have towers, you name it, I would literally have everything physically possible. And then, uh, we even had a train that would automatically set up these dominoes, which was pretty satisfying. Now I can jump on these and try and speed the process up by actually having the dominoes go multiple ways. So let's try and break the game by having multiple dominoes go in multiple directions. And oh, there's actually a giant domino at the end. So let's speed things up a little bit and actually run on top of the dominoes. Oh, that's kind of fun actually. It makes it run real quick. These dominoes are about to collide. So while we do that, let's just skip to the good stuff on which the giant domino hopefully go and get toppled over you know this giant one which looks absolutely massive you know you want to the grand finale oh look at that it just kind of all smashed into pieces i thought it was one big domino but no it was better than my hopes and dreams could have imagined which was your most satisfying game click this video here to see me play 100 fake roblox games i think you'll enjoy it